Have you noticed that entrepreneurship is not easy? If it were easy, then everyone who was an entrepreneur or many people would be successful by now and they would be continually successful forever. But as you might know, if you've been on the journey, it is a lot of ups and downs. And the more you try things, which is what you need to do to reach your potential. Let me say that again. To reach your potential as an entrepreneur, you have to try a lot of different things things that you don't know if it's going to work. And so in this short video, I'm going to share with you a resilience process that I've needed to do myself many times to bounce back from setbacks because, well, as a experienced entrepreneur, I have, res I have tried a lot more things than most people and I probably have failed so-called more often than some of you, maybe most of you. Um, so uh, when I was in a discouraged state, this word came to me, breathe. Now I took a few deep breaths when I heard that, you know, my mind, but then I got curious what else breathe could mean. And over the coming days, I created this acronym for this resilience process. And I hope you will Give it a try or borrow any part of it, make it your own, share it with others, whatever you want to do. I hope this is helpful. So breathe seven letters. Um, each one stands for one part of the process. So let's, let's get going on this. B stands for breathe. So very, the very simple first part is just when you're discouraged, when you are feeling down, confused, frustrated, sad, whatever it is, just take a few quick, deep, breaths. And instantly that gets some oxygen into your body, into your brain, and just shifts your energy a little bit, maybe a lot, and, and gives you a bit more perspective to continue on this process. So B stands for breathe, just a few gentle, deep breaths. The next letter R stands for rest. So take about 15 to 20 minutes to rest. Don't do anything else. You know, don't Try to do things when you feel down, when you feel discouraged or negative. It's probably not going to be helpful, you know, and, um, and you might get more discouraged. So rest, give it a break, at least 15 minutes. I would say not too long, you know, don't rest for days and wallow in discouragement, but just rest for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I like to take naps and that helps me a lot. Even if I don't fall asleep, I don't fall asleep most of my naps, but at least lay down, relax. Feel maybe some kind of healing energy from the earth or from, from my divine source, however you want to imagine it. So R stands for rest. Take a break. Don't do anything else. And then after the rest, the next letter is E. E stands for extract the good. In every situation, no matter how discouraged or down you feel, there is something good in that situation. I promise you. I mean, whether maybe you say, well, I, that was a complete failure. I did something and nobody responded or that. No. Can you appreciate something about what you did? Of course you can. There is always some goodness you did, some something you were willing to try to say, well, I'm glad I, at least I tried that. Something you did, you can appreciate or maybe something you learned from that experience that was, okay, next time I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else. Some good has come from the situation, whether something you did you can appreciate or something you learned. So extract the good. That's what E stands for, extract the good. Okay, A stands for ask for guidance. If you believe there is an invisible source of guidance around you, within you, ask that guidance. Pray, journal, uh, you know, do whatever asking helps you and just sincerely ask, you know, I'm feeling discouraged right now and I would like some encouragement and I would like some guidance on what some good next steps are. Make a sincere ask of your invisible source if you believe in that. And then next, ask visible sources of guidance. So you might have uh, a friend you can go to, a supportive colleague, uh, a coach, 
a community of people that you trust and that are responsive towards you or some kind of Facebook group or something like that, go and ask either a per, okay. So my, my recommendation is ask at least three people. So promise you'll do this because sometimes you'll need to ask three people to get one person who saw your message and was able to respond quick enough to be really helpful. So ask three people or ask a group of people and let them know, you know, I'm feeling discouraged right now. Maybe you could share just a little bit about your setback and to say, do you have any encouragement for me or any guidance for me? Anything you want to share is great. Either way, thank you for being a supportive person in my life or supportive community, just like that. So ask for guidance. That's A. The next one is T. T stands for trust. Trust that the guidance is coming to you. Whether the invisible guidance you asked or the visible guidance, you got to give them some time and they will respond. So trust that's coming to you. It is. And trust that better days are coming. Better days are coming. I really believe this 100% that we are all, our souls are somehow magically, mysteriously on a trajectory towards ultimate bliss, total knowledge, total love, total connection and understanding. I believe that's our, our souls are on an inevitable path towards ultimate bliss. And we can't screw it up no matter how much we so-called fail. We cannot screw it up. It's just this, this process is way more powerful than our free will. Um, you know, we have free will within a certain bounds, but then our soul's journey towards ultimate bliss is inevitable. It's happening. So trust that better days are coming to you. Next letter H stands for help someone. Because when we are feeling down and when, especially when we're in a negative spiral, essentially it's continually focusing on our small selves and our problems and our situation. Da, da, da. It's always very, very focused on ourselves. And it's hard to hear. I know it's true, but it's, it's also hopefully easy to hear that the easy way to out of that is to focus on helping somebody else. And the simplest way of doing it these days, I'll tell you the simplest way. Go on social media. Take take 10 minutes, set a 10 minute timer so that you don't do it too long and then go on social media and comment on two or three posts and comment in a supportive, appreciative way. Because you know, when you receive comments, you get uplifted too, right? Especially when a comment is supportive and appreciative, you get uplifted, even though you might not write that person back, even though you might not let them know, you still feel uplifted. So do the same thing for two or three other people just in a 10 minute time window comment supportively appreciatively on two or three posts simplest way to go and help someone these days so simple and it seems so small but it does help them and it gets you out of your work your little little focus on your small self and then finally e stands for experiment again now it's time to get back into action don't wallow too long don't you know procrastinate or think you have to rest for two weeks no you can bounce back relatively quickly, maybe not 15 minutes, but you know, this process of this whole thing might take you about half an hour or 45 minutes or, or an hour or whatever. It may, maybe take half a day. That's okay. But go and experiment again. Try something again. Try something small again. Make a social media post. Announce something small or something. Do something simple to get out there again, experimenting in your business. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you'll give it a try. Borrow the process, modify it to yourself. If you use it, let me know how it goes. Or if you have your own resilience process that works really well for you, you can also comment below and maybe help someone else out. So thank you so much for joining me on this, in this worldwide community called the entrepreneurship community. You know, we're all in this together. We all need to support each other. So thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Thanks again.